What is going on, everybody? I came across this puzzle, and wow, it's amazing. So, before I say anything, it is white to move. I'll give you three seconds to pause the video and see what you can figure out before I say anything more. One, two, and three. The first thing I'll point out is black only has two knights. That's not enough material to checkmate the white king. So the only way that white is going to be able to avoid a draw is if they promote one of the pawns. We have four pieces to go through, one at a time. We'll discuss the, all the possibilities of their movements and why they do not lead to a possibility of a promoted pawn. And then we will be left with one piece that does. Once we find out that piece, we'll give you another opportunity to pause the puzzle from there. And we will rinse repeat until we come to the solution. The first piece we're going to be talking about is the White Knight, since it's being attacked by the Black King. It doesn't matter where you move it to, even if you start it off with an attack where it would be up for the taking, Black is going to ignore that and is going to check the White King with the F6 Knight. And after White moves, it's going to pick up the G7 pawn. And then from this position, it doesn't matter where your white knight had jumped to, it's impossible to stop black from taking out the other pawn. All it has to do is first take care of the square in front of the pawn, and then take care of the square the pawn is on. And it doesn't matter if the pawn marches up right away, Black has two squares to cover the promotion square. It's got B6 and D6. So since D6 is covered right now from the knight, it'll go to B6. And no matter what white does, even if it tries throwing in a check, that would cover one of the two squares for the knight because the other knight has to jump to either E6 or E8. So once the black king moves, there's still nothing white can do to cover both e6 and e8 to stop the knight from attacking the square the pawn is on. And then from here, it doesn't matter if you make a move, whether it be the pawn or not, the pawn goes up, it's going to die from that knight, and if any other move is made, it's going to fall from the other. So no matter what position you move the knight to off the get-go you're gonna get checked one pawn's gonna fall and then it's impossible to save the other and just so we cover all loose ends we discussed how black is able to stop the promotion when the pawn moves straight away even if white tries their best to set up all squares so black isn't able to black still is their best effort is this knight c5. The king can then come to c2. The knight jumps to b7, covering this square. And then first, the black knight jumps to e8 to prevent the pawn from marching forward. And now the white king can come to f5. So now the knight can't come to e5 or a5. The natural squares it would have to attack the square the pawn is on. It doesn't matter because black is able to maneuver the knight first through a3. And if the white king tries coming up to attack the knight on e8, it's just too slow. After knight b5 and king d7... The knight will rest on a7, attacking the pawn, and there's just nothing they can do. Because now the square that the pawn is on and the square in front of it are under fire. Black takes the pawn, or the knight. Then the knight will take the pawn. And if the pawn marches forward, the pawn will go down. It's impossible to win with a very first move of moving the white knight. 
doesn't matter what square it goes to, all roads lead to a dead end. The next piece we're going to look at is moving the king first. The king has seven moves. They are all the same except for one. The oddball, which is different, is if the king goes to f4, because on f4, black has the check and then picks up the pawn afterwards. And it's the exact same situation that we just covered with if the knight moved first. All other six moves it may try will result in the white knight falling. And there's nothing white king can do by himself to stop black from protecting those vital promotion squares. Even if it tried marching the pawn right away, this knight will post up here. And when the white king tries rushing in, black's knight can just kind of sit behind the pawn. And if the white king tries coming in too close, the knight can just kind of back out and cover it from a distance. There's no way for the king to stop black from protecting those squares. And that's it for the king. The last move to eliminate is if they promote right away on the g-file, the knight will just capture, and there's two things they can do. If they march up the pawn right away, that forces black to move the knight to d6. And then white's best move is go knight d5 because it cuts off the e7 and f6 square. But the other knight can still get there through the h6 square. And if the white king tries joining in, uh, the knight can just jump to f7 and put a stop to that. So the white king can try to flank. And then the black king just comes in. And the best move for white is put the knight on e7. And once the king gets close enough, it can jump back to d5 with a check. Checks the king and protects the pawn. Just go ahead and put the king on d7. And no matter what white does now, just put the knight on e8 and it's attacking the white pawn. Nothing they can do. They ran out of checks. If they push the pawn, the king will capture. And if they move any other piece, the knight will capture. That's if the pawn marches first. And if the... So the pawn marching first, if they make a move, let's say with the knight, that just allows black to come in on h6, one move sooner and it's just a matter of time before uh you know everything goes down so before uh we go any further literally the exact same situation that leaves it down to one move which is pawn to c7 that is the correct move Knowing that, I'll give you three seconds to pause the video and try to figure out what is Black's best reply to C7. One, two, and three. The best move for Black is D6, covering the C8 square. You would think that B6 is also viable, but it's not quite as good. The reason why moving the king doesn't work is because of the promotion. And the reason why the knight over here doesn't work, even if it comes with check, well, in that case, the knight would gobble it. The other square, h5, would check. Once the king moves, even if you gobble up, the pawn is promoting. So, the only move is knight to d6. With that being said, I'll let you get three seconds to pause the video and find the continuation 
for White's best move. One, two, and three. The best move for White is moving the knight to e4, attacking both of the knights. And that is because both knights can't retreat, and if one of the black knights captures the white knight, even though it comes with check, here's the why it's so hard to find, the king can then march to f4, and when the black knight hurries back to the square it was originally on to continue protecting the promotion square, now the king can march to e5, attacking both knights once again, just like your white knight did previously. And there's nothing that black can do to prevent you from either promoting or killing one of the knights. The only move it has to prevent you from killing both knights is a move like knight to e8. Either one. Symmetrical, same thing. Or I guess also knight to e4. And if that was the case, if the knight moves, you would promote to a queen. And if one of the knights tries ducking and preventing one of the promotions, you can capture the other knight that didn't move. And after that, there is no move black can do to prevent you from promoting the opposite end. In this case, it would be the G7 pawn to G8. It would need to go to the E7 square, but that's currently covered by the king. And backtracking, the reason why B6 didn't work as well even though it does also cover the c8 square, is that when the knight comes in attacking both of the black knights, just like when the knight came to d6, the knight forked him on e4, is now when black captures the knight, it doesn't come with check. And that would just allow white to promote instantly. I thought it was a beautiful puzzle. And I hope that you enjoyed finding the solution with me. Let me know what you think in the comments of the puzzle at hand. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next.